So let us say this is say 10 cm. Um, this is maybe I'm just saying three, and then the height is I'm just putting eight cm. What I'm gonna do here is is that um we're gonna try to find the volume of this, and then we want to try to find the total surface area as well because volume is basically the area of the cross section times height and we spent some time discussing what a cross section is um so it's basically that uniform shape that exists throughout some solid and when we say solid we're talking about three-dimensional um figures some of them may have more than one cross section like this 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 has more than one cross section whichever one you want to pick on fine so i'm going to pick on a cross section that kind of follow the bottom part you could see that this bottom shape here that i'm about to highlight is indeed one of the cross section so if you can find the area of that shape at the bottom and then how far it goes in the air like how tall it goes see that so it goes this tall until you see that same shape at the top so that's what we refer to when we're talking about the area of the cross section but basically to find the volume of this shape you just simply multiply the length times the width times the height so in this case it's 10 times 3 times 8. And that's going to just take you to the answer. The 10 times the 3 would have given you the area of the, the bottom. And then the 8 would give you the, the height of it. So you're looking at about 240 cm, but to the third power. And we're using the third power because volume is in the third dimension All right so volume is in the third dimension so now so that's the volume the total surface area now total surface area is simply saying looking at the the entire figure can you find the surfaces the area of all the surfaces that's all so i'm going to use a red marker to highlight the surfaces there's one at the bottom i'm saying number one and it has a twin at the top i'm calling it number two at the side you could see this shape here that at the side so i'm going to call it three and it has a twin, which is on the other side. You could see it, number four. And then now, at the front, 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 so I'm going to shade the front, front, front. This big boy here at the front, broad piece. So I'm going to call it number five. And then it has another twin all the way at the back, back 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 i'm going to call that number six so it's a number six so if you really look you're seeing that this shape we call it a cuboid and sometimes they call it a rectangle prism so i'm just giving you some names we can we will discuss some of these later It looks like a door or a duster or a phone. That sort of thing. So we are saying that if we are going to try to find the total surface area, what we want to do is to find the area of all of those surfaces. But you do realize that each one of them, actually, they have a twin. So what I'm going to do is to kind of put some letters on it to help you. So I'm going to put some letters at the corners, for example. 
A, and I'm calling this part B, then I'm calling this part C, I'm calling this D, and I'm calling this E, then I'm calling up here F, then I'm saying G, H. So I'm just giving some labels so that we can speak to ourselves using those labels, right? So for example, the question requires the total surface area. Then it is saying, find the areas of all of those rectangles at the bottom, and it will give you the total surface area. So we're talking about the area of all of these. A, B, C, D. That's the one at the front. And you're going to multiply that by 2. And the reason why you're multiplying this by 2 is because it has a same twin at the back. So luckily, this has a twin. All right? And when you find that, you're going to find the area of the side one here. And you double it because it has another one on the other side. So the area of B, G, H, C. And you want to multiply that by 2 because it's 2 of it. Plus the area of the one at the, on the ground, 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 this. So it's the area of D, E, H, C times 2. So now in this regard, we're talking about A, B, C, D. So let's focus on them. So let me highlight it. This one now. At the front. So, it's, so the area ten times the width. Look, the length is 10. Right? And the width of it is 8. Because you're going to start realizing that this 8 is 8. This is 8. This is 8. They're all the same. So this 10, this is 10. This same line is 10. And you kind of realize that same distances. The 3 is the same 3 there. It's the same 3 there. It's the same 3 there. So the moment you're seeing them, you will see there. You, you'll be able to pick up, right? So in this case, A, B, C, D is actually 10 times 8 because the length, I'm just going to highlight it, the length is 10 and the width is 8. But it's 2 of it. So we want to Double it. Also, B, G, H, C, I'll highlight it. B, G, H, C. Look at it. The length is 8 and the width is 3. You're looking at it. It's an 8 by 3 rectangle. And it's 2 of it. Here's the next one over here. Same thing, 8 by 3. All right? So you could see the doubling going on. So we're talking about 8 times 3. It's 2 of it. Plus, on the ground, 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 we're seeing 10 by 3 on the ground. 10 times 3. And if you look, it's at the top as well. It has a twin. You double it. So you could see. So we're talking about the total surface area. We're talking about finding the area of all the surfaces and add them up. So let's put them together. 80 times 2, 160. 24 times 2, 48. 30 times 2, 60. You put all of that together. 160 plus 48 plus 60. The total surface area is 268 
centimeter and it is square because this is area. So you have to use the right unit. I want you to look and see. This is what we just found. Six things that they have their twins. For example, I might have said, let us, I'm just making up this now. Let us say we say this is number one. There's a two for it. There's a number three. There's a four for it. There is a five and a six for it. Like twins, <laughs> twins. This was what we just found. Laying it out. If I should cut the edge, cut off the edges and just open it out like you're spreading out a box. All right? That's what we just found when we found the total surface area. This is called the net of a solid, like the net. The word net in math is simply referring to if you should pull it apart and look at it, what are you seeing? All right? So people call it the development of the thing. How it is made. Like if you're going to make me this shape here, if you're going to make me this solid, you'd have to start from here. You understand? And imagine if you should cut along these edges and lift them up and lift them up, then you will end up getting something that looks like that, that we were working with. But I'm not going into that yet. What I'm going into is the fact that I want you to understand that what you just found was actually this in terms of the area. So we'd have found the area of that piece. And we'd say, oh, it has a twin for it. Then we said, hey, let's find the area of this piece. And we said, but it has a twin over here as well. And then we said, well, we have another one. Let's find the area of this piece. And we said, oh, but it has a twin there. So that was what we were doing. But it's we only find twin in certain cases and you will know all right so when we say we find the total surface area it's like pulling it apart finding the areas and then you add them up which is what we were doing here 